uh, hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Bursi, fat cardiologist. Today we're asking this question, can we lower your blood pressure without medications, part two. And we're gonna be looking at weight, uh, certain foods, uh, sleep, alcohol intake, smoking, and I'll have a bonus at the end of the video. Let's look at uh, weight loss. Being an overweight or obese increases your risk of developing high blood pressure. In fact, your blood pressure goes up as your body weight uh, goes up. The good news is also, even if you lose 10 pounds, you can lower your blood pressure. And in general, you would say for every kilogram of weight that you lose for every 2.2 pounds, you lower your blood pressure by one millimeter of mercury. So if you lost 22 pounds, 10 kilos, you lower your blood pressure by 10 millimeters of mercury. And obviously overweight and obesity are also risk factors for heart disease. How do you know if you are overweight or obese? We look at two parameters. One is the body mass index and the other one is waist circumference. The body mass index is a measure of your weight related to your height. You can look up a formula and put the numbers. And normal is between 18.5 and 24.9. 25 to 29.9 you are overweight, further or higher you are obese. And uh, body mass index is not perfect. For instance, someone who is very muscular, a bodybuilder obviously will not give you uh, accurate numbers. That's why we also look at the waist circumference. and It's often checked and in reality, uh, the body fat, the fat around your stomach is actually associated with increased disease risk. And, a waist uh, measurement of more than 35 inches in women and more than 40 inches in men is considered uh, high. And uh, keep in mind that one pound uh, adipositial fat will have about 3,500 calories. So if you want to lose one pound a week, you need to restrict 500 calories a day or burn 500 calories more a day. Let's look at uh, certain foods. So, uh, certain foods are helpful in lowering your uh, blood pressure, although the best option is to actually look at the total dietary pattern. Don't look for a magic uh, uh, food, but however, here are 10 foods that can uh, promote and lower your blood pressure. And sweetened yogurt. Uh, recent studies showed yogurt may actually lower your blood pressure. This probably because it uh, has a lot of minerals, calcium, potassium, and magnesium that help regulate your blood pressure. Make sure you get unsweetened uh, natural uh, or Greek yogurt, and you could uh, blend with fruits and seeds or nuts. Number two, berries. Uh, strawberries and blueberries are rich in antioxidants, are called anthocyanins, and they lower your blood pressure. Number three, beets. The, this root vegetable is high in nitric oxide, a compound that's been shown to reduce uh, blood pressure. You can even purchase a bad root juice, so make sure there is no added sugar. Number four, sweet potatoes. They are loaded with magnesium, potassium, and fiber, and uh, will be helpful in lowering your blood pressure. And number five, leafy greens, uh, cabbage, collard greens, spinach, kale, all are high in nitrates that so will bring your blood pressure down. Number six, uh, even fatty fish, salmon, and mackerel are packed with omega-3 fatty acids to lower your blood pressure. Number seven, whole grains, especially old meal. Number eight, pistachios. One study showed that eating pistachios one serving a day could lower your blood pressure. Number nine, bananas have on average 422 milligrams of potassium. Number 10, kiwi. There's a study that compared eating three kiwi fruits a day versus one apple and the kiwi fruits one, they lower the blood pressure more than the apples. Let's look at sleep. Uh, get enough sleep. Get enough sleep is important for your overall health. If uh, you have, for instance, sleep apnea, it will aggravate your high blood pressure, could even be a cause of resistant hypertension. Hypertension does not respond even to blood pressure medications. Let's look at number four, at stress. Being under stress can cause your blood pressure to spike uh, temporarily for sure. It's because the stress will release stress hormones that will increase your heart rate and will vasoconstrict your arteries, increasing your blood pressure. And there is no proof that stress itself causes long-term high blood pressure 
there is no question that reaction to many stresses in a healthy way will raise your blood pressure if you're drinking too much if you're smoking if you eating too much because you are under stress you don't uh, exercise all of this contribute to long-term high blood pressure and how can you manage uh, stress this will be a topic for uh, a video uh, in itself but uh, overall you want to uh, look at adjust your schedule you want to exercise exercise has been proven to uh, decrease your stress level and deep breathing exercises could also help you lower your uh, stress level on the spot let's look at number five alcohol intake drink too much alcohol can raise your blood pressure and harm also your liver and your brain and your heart and what's the recommendation for men no more than two drinks a day for one one drink a day what's the drink 12 ounces of beer five ounces of wine it's about 100 calories one and a half ounces of uh, hard liquor number six stop smoking uh, smoking raises your blood pressure puts you at risk for heart attacks and stroke as well and here's the bonus I promise you. Breathing exercises, uh, slow breathing, as defined the respiratory rate of fewer than 100 breaths per minute with a prolonged expiration will lower your sympathetic tone, uh, raise your presympathetic tone, and lower your heart rate and your blood uh, pressure. People with high blood pressure, the slow deep breathing for two minutes can lower systolic blood pressure by nine millimeters of mercury and five on uh, the diastolic and the minimum on the studies were about 15 minutes a day of breathing exercises. In conclusion, there are more than a billion people in the world with high blood pressure. 116 million Americans have high blood pressure. You need to maintain a healthy weight, you need to exercise, you need to eat well, you need to reduce sodium in your diet. And if you want to learn more about salt, you will check this video top 10 tips to lower salt in your diet drink alcohol in moderation and you want to stop smoking if you do and if you take prescribed medications make sure you take them uh, regularly and on the time and do not wait to have a stroke or a heart attack or kidney failure if you need the medications to lower your blood pressure you still must follow the lifestyle change otherwise you're not going to succeed i remember not every health issue needs a pill and remember your health is the most precious as I said it's too important to be delegated to others uh, take control see you next video